WeWork founder hands back half a billion. Apple continues its covert car ops. Elon wants to power the world's internet. My name is Tommy and this is The Tech Files, giving you all the big stories in tech you need to know about this week. First up, congratulations to Josh Gardner, who won the Wired subscription. He tagged two mates, doubled his odds. The deal is on again this week, so tag someone who needs the tech news for your chance to win these in your letterbox each month. I know you're busy, let's dive in. Adam Newman, the infamous co-founder and former CEO of WeWork, is nearing a settlement with SoftBank by agreeing to a near $500 million cut in his payout from the company's new owners. According to the Wall Street Journal, SoftBank is looking to spend $1.5 billion to buy the shares of early WeWork investors and employees, including Newman, and clear the way for another IPO attempt. A bit of brand revamping might be in order around there. Apple are reportedly on the lookout for LiDAR sensors, a key sensory component of autonomous vehicles. The Bloomberg report claims Apple have built a lot of the software in-house and that a vehicle launch may be five years away. As a minimum, we know they're testing vehicles in California and are building out their iOS car experience. Elon Musk has shed some light on Starlink, SpaceX's satellite internet platform, replying to a customer on Twitter who had just received their beta kit, which promises speeds between 50 to 100 megabits per second. The user, who is seeing up to 130, was informed by Musk that speeds would double to 300 and that most of Earth will have coverage by the year's end. I wonder if Elon says stuff like that and then everyone at headquarters drops their coffee cup in shock. Leaked promo videos have shown pretty legit Samsung AR glasses and glasses light. In the videos published by Walking Cat, the user can be seen engaging with various content, all via his pretty fly specs. Even if the claims are a bit thin, it is certainly realistic that the technology and applications are real, with Apple, Snap, Google and Magic Leap all at the forefront of AR wearables. Spotify announced a lossless hi-fi streaming tier for 2021, offering CD quality streaming to all Spotify apps and enabled devices. At present, Spotify audio quality caps out at around 320 kilobits per second, while CD quality streaming peaks at around 1400. There is no word yet on pricing for hi-fi. However, if we look at Tidal, they charge 20 bucks a month for their high quality and $10 a month for standard. Same as Spotify premium. Now completely back of envelope, if we assume Spotify lowball and charge 15 a month for Hi-Fi and 5% of their 155 million premium subscribers upgrade, that's an additional 500 million in revenue, a handy 6 to 7% boost to their financial year. And in IPOs, the hotly anticipated and on again off again listing candidate Roblox is on again. The company have shown their intent to go public via direct listing on the New York Stock Exchange around the 10th of March. And if the amount of time my nine-year-old neighbour spends on Roblox is anything to go by, it's going to be a big one. Now that's a wrap for this week. If you enjoyed the show, share it with a mate and subscribe or follow. Big thanks as always to Granite Bay Capital for their insights. Catch their substack below. My name is Tommy McCubbin. You can find me at futuresandwich.com on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. This has been The Tech Files. We'll see you next week.